Hi guys, Dave here for Dave Outdoors. Thanks for tuning in. I'm just here in the Waikato today on a day walk. I'm just parked up here out of the weather, just up against these rocks and under this tree, uh, just for a short break. But what if it was an unplanned extended break? Maybe I went down with an injury or lost my bearings, got disorientated. How would I get through the night? Well, I've come prepared uh, just with a couple of very cheap, very simple items. And I'll show you how I would use them to make a raincoat to get me out of the weather and also a sleeping bag to get me through the night. Here's the items I need. Three uh, plastic garden size garbage bags. Just one, two and three, and my knife. Two of the garbage bags come out of this uh, bush survival kit, which is also my hiking, my hunting kit. And one of them just comes out of my pocket where I keep my personal survival kit. So the first bag we're gonna cut is gonna be uh, to cover the majority of our body. It's just going to be able to put my head through it and arms out either side. So just find the center. Make sure you're, you've got the uh, sealed end, the closed end. Center of it's there. Just to cut straight down. Big enough to get my large head in. That's all I need to do. hard in this wind. The day is not cooperating with me. Okay, should be big enough for that one. The next cuts we make will be for the arms. So we've got our neck there. Just come along here. I've opened the bag out, make it easier to cut. Got to be a bit careful here, hands on the inside. So safety is the key issue here and you don't want to cut all the way through and poke a hole in your uh, raincoat. So cut that down like that and up along the seam. There we go, straight through. Same. That should do for those. Once the main body cover is done, then we just do the poncho. I just call it a poncho. That's your bag across its widest width, so we just go to the side, and I've already opened it up. And this window wasn't hard, I just let it fill full of air. And we're just going to cut from the sealed end at the top right down to the open end at the bottom. So we're just cutting straight along down the side. Here's our seam. Again, find that crease. It's a bit of a finger job there. Be careful you don't cut all the way through. And poke a hole in your bike, in your bag, where you don't want it. And just cut on up, right up to the seam. very awkward in this wind, it really is. Just taking it easy, nice and slow. Keep in mind in a survival situation you might be injured as well. Uh, so it could make things difficult, it could be a lot of pain, you may have to try and do the whole thing one handed. And add on to that, you know, the stress levels. Maybe you're hungry, dehydrated, so you're not functioning to your best capacity, so you just take it slow, nice and easy. That's the poncho done, and I'll just show you how they go together. So that's the main body bag. That's not a nice trim. That's the main body, uh, body part covered. As you can see, it does quite well. Here's the poncho. 
even though my main body's covered, head and arms are still exposed, that's where this comes in. Uh, just noticed it there. I just poked a hole through, so the knife goes through and very, very easily. Let's see if I can do it in the wind. Not too stupid. There we go. That's that. A lot of people in my hometown walk around looking like this. There you go. So completely covered. And you, if you look at the back, you got room there. You've got room there probably to put a backpack on as well, a small backpack. The last sack, the third one, is your sleeping bag. I'm just gonna stand back here because I don't want to adjust the camera again. Open her up all the way. Just climb inside. Make sure I stay dry. Upper layer goes over the out, goes over the under layer, over the top of it. If I'm going to sleep, probably if I, you know, if you can't find flat ground, you're sleeping on the slope. Sleep with your head up the slope. Rainwater hits you. You're covered over in your poncho. The rainwater hits you, and just runs right off. Keep in mind uh, where you're sleeping. Try and put some padding down. Give yourself some insulation. Because this stuff here, even like your your silver mylar blankets and rubbish bags, things like that, if they're up against your skin or you, your insulation is compressed and it's close to the skin, there's no ins, no warmth insulation there, then it'll actually suck the cold out of your body. So you want to have insulation um, tucked up in here as well if you can, dry leaves and such, or, or and or on the ground as well. So that's it. So I look kind of like a homeless person at the moment. I'm going to get changed into my normal clothes, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for tuning in.